At some point in every artist's life, they find a purpose or meaning that forces their hand to make something new, something inspiring. To create something so unique that when people see it for the first time, their imagination lights up. For me, that inspiration started by taking ordinary items that people throw away and transforming them into meaningful pieces of art. But his true inspiration came years later, again, in the most innocuous of moments. We were driving by like a children's playground in St. Louis with my wife, and there was a bunch of tires stacked up in a little design, and I just thought, tires is, is a material that's not used for anything today. Not anymore. Tire art became Blake's new passion. They say that everything is bigger in Texas. We'll unveil some Texas-sized artwork. It's pretty amazing. I mean, I like stuff like that. I like art. I mean, it's something now that I think that the university should be proud of. I think people really like it. They've never seen anything like it before. And to see just the people's faces of kind of shock and wonderment of what these things are was, was really made it all worth it. I hit the road to the remote California coastlines with untouched beaches. Picking up trash from the beach hits a soft spot for me. One of man's most damaging byproducts is our trash. 18 billion tons of plastic is thrown into our seas every year, and single-use plastics are harming sea animals daily. I'm passionate about everything the ocean has to offer, which is why I strive to help preserve them. Waste not only fills our seas, but also our local landfills. This is where you'll find me, searching for interesting materials to build my newest creation. After collecting the needed materials, it's time to build the inner structure of the sculpture by hand pouring 80 pounds of polyurethane foam block by block. Once all the blocks are built, I use a paper cutout of my sketch to start piecing the foam blocks together. Carving with polyurethane foam is messy, and I often leave with sharp foam particles all over my skin, clothing, and hair. Now the tire application starts. I begin the tedious work of cutting every single tire by hand. My passion to create art through recycling ensures these tires will not go to landfills, but instead promotes environmental consciousness. 
Using anatomy charts, I portray muscle structure with different treads of tire. It's like a puzzle to me to figure out what kind of tread goes where to create the best muscle structure. This process can take up to four weeks. Once the tires begin to take shape, I begin to paint the crumbling earth. I use red, yellow, and orange for the deep cracks that are running through the turmoiled earth. My newest creation, World at War, is a combination of recycled tires and trash. World at War depicts mankind being able to rise above the damage they have caused our planet while also finding alternative ways to restore the world's natural beauty. This sculpture symbolizes that we need to be more conscious about what we throw away every day.